Want to learn how to do any times table in one minute or less? Then click on the link below and master any times table you want. Now on to the video. So there are many different ways to subtract. When we subtract, there are times when we have to borrow. For instance, if we take the sum 25 minus 8, which we can also write in column form. So we put 25 at the top and 8 at the bottom. And because we want to subtract, we put a minus. So it's 25 minus 8. Notice that we can also fill in this blank space with a 0. This is optional, but it can help. And it will help as you'll see further in the video. Okay, so we have 25 minus 8. What we normally do is we normally start from the right hand side or the unit side and we check to see if the top digit or the top unit is bigger than the bottom unit. In this case 5 is not bigger than 8 and this cannot be done unless we go into negative numbers but that's the second method we will be looking at. So to avoid going into negative numbers since 5 cannot take away 8 we have to borrow from the tens column. So we borrow 1 from the tens column and we add that 1 and we add that borrowed 10 to the existing unit which is 5 to make 15 and now since 15 is greater than 8 we can do the subtraction so 15 take away 8 equals 7 and then we can move on to the tens column where we just have 1 left now subtracting down so 1 take away 0 is just 1 so the answer becomes 17. If you found this tutorial helpful then do leave a like, comment, share with anyone who you feel this may benefit and do subscribe and click the bell for all the latest tips, tricks, revision and exam techniques as well as the latest releases that will be coming soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.